the two takeaways that I would have to take away from this uh, section seven uh, would be how just how cool uh, would be just how cool Mary Ann Shad was. You know, my, most people don't really know her, and in history, I guess she's not really heard about because you know I've gone through multiple history classes. You know, AP, regular, advanced. You know, college level, and none of them have ever talked about Mary Ann Shad, which is super cool. I really like her story. I really like that she was able to you know fight for her, both the causes that affect her and her life the most. You know how she was able to fight for women's suffrage movements, along with you know, along with being able to fight for you know, politically African American movements. I also thought it was super cool how she spoke to um Douglas, uh yeah, uh, Douglas about how maybe he should work more on not just speeches and uh speeches and um, you know, debating people with but like actual concrete evidence because that's probably one of the mi- biggest uh, problems that I see in history is that a lot of these people would just talk about problems but they wouldn't really actually not get enact anything. But, you know, that's still really cool that she's able to tell someone that who taught himself how to read, you know. You're not doing enough for the movement level. You got to keep rolling. Like, we know you, you read a couple of books about yourself, but, you know, we got to keep this thing moving. And uh, the other thing that I have to say uh, was just uh, reading about how people, African-American people, would uh, leave and go to Canada. The reason I thought that was so cool was because I uh, just imagine this, uh, the journey, you know, uh, you always talk about the North Star and stuff like that and what that means in culture, in African culture, in African-American culture about how, like, how important it was to find their freedom, even if it was, like, hundreds of thousands of miles away in a country that no one knew, like, you, you leave everything you know, uh, to get, to, like, just have the chance to be free, like, you leave your family, when, uh, the family that you were able to have, or, you know, risk life, limb, and death, you know, just for the opportunity to even maybe have, like, a little bit better of a lifestyle, but I find that really interesting, you know, something that could be talked about more, and also, uh, something that we talk, and both of these things could be talked about more, because they're just really impactful, and, um, could they could educate people who don't really understand, you know, what the times were at that time, like specific, you know, more underground figures who aren't as popular because of, you know, time just moving around and things like that. So, yeah.